back everybody bring you guys a new youtube video today so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to get archon class in remnant 2 i'm going to try to best to explain how to get every individual piece for you to obtain this archon class so uh bear with me and if you guys have any questions down below let's get right into this so i'm going to start off with the rings first it's the most easier this way and um first one we're going to go for here is the first ring here we're going to talk about is the black cat Band. This ring is obtained by Reggie. Make sure to go to Ward 13 and check it out. People said this is tied to dying so many times in this game, but I actually made a new character and it was already there immediately. You guys confirm that in the comments below. Um, if it's not there, just come back later or die a few times and then come back and check if the ring if it's there. So the ring should be at Reggie. So the next ring here is going to be Amber's Moonstone. You can buy this ring from Cassus. Just a heads up, the NPCs like to talk a lot. The next ring here is Anesthesia's Inspiration. This ring is found at Whispers at War 13 main hub where you start the game. The next ring here is Xenia's Malice. This ring can be found on Earth, which is Ashen Wasteland, and make sure you watch for a hole in the wall and dunk under and the ring will be there. Next item we need is Leto's Amulets, which you have to flop a hundred times in front of Reggie in Ward 13. I've seen people have said you have to flop in front of them or you can do it anywhere in the world and do it a hundred times and the item will show up. After you complete getting three Seeker's Keys from playing on Nerud, if you see a light in the sky, that's where we're going to be taking these three Seeker Keys right to this light over here. After you get to the top, make sure you interact with the terminal. Don't interact with the second one. That would be the wrong one because if you want to do this right, interact with the terminal. Then you're going to enter this boss fight. So after you defeat the Shahala, Spectral Garden of Nerud. Once you beat the boss fight in Nerud, you need to talk to the custodian in Nerud, and he will tell you that you need to take out this boss, and you need to talk to him again. And that will give you a sequence that you have to wait, I think, roughly 10 to 12 hours. I don't know if you can, like, fast forward that. It's in real life time. And um, once you come back, you're going to be able to come back to this area. It's going to be all glitched out, all the area. Now we need to visit Alepsis Torah. You can go ahead and load in here. And it's going to be very confusing because you're going to see this world of dark matter, a world of the galaxy. And it's nuts. It makes you think that you can't walk on it. And before I went into this, I, could, I, like, I didn't think you could walk on it. Then after I watched videos on it, like you can, you're able to walk on it. So I was like, what the hell? And um, as I see a secret voice message you can actually listen to, part of the lore. And um, if you keep walking forward, you will get the Void Heart, That's, which is pretty awesome. Make sure to buy this armor set from Whispers. This will be access through Whispers after beating the game, which is called the Realm Maker. So make sure you buy every piece of armor from this set. After killing the Labyrinth Sentinel boss, you will be able to craft the cube gun that you need for this Archon class. You can go to Ava McCabe and craft this weapon and go to the Fractured Ingress or you can play it until you get that location. Once you get to this area, you wanna go past this portal right here and keep going straight toward the stairs and you're gonna see these little weird platforms on the bottom. So you're gonna have to like jump onto this platform, make sure you don't fall off, you take a little bit of damage and as you walk up, the steps will come up as you keep going. You're going to have to do some little parkour here on some more steps here. And uh, before it breaks off, you got to jump over to the ledge area. There. there you go. And um, you're going to fight this mini boss. And um, you're going to kill it. And it's going to drop you the Labyrinth Staff. And for this, you need to re-roll your adventure mode to Ayasha and go to the Red Throne. While you're talking to the Queen, you need to be nice as possible and not be rude because that's going to ruin this whole thing. So just be nice all the way through. She's going to ask you to kill the Beast. After you kill the boss, you're going to go back to the Queen and you're going to say you have killed the Abomination. And she's going to give you the Seal of Empress, which is a ring that can access this underground temple thing that's going to give you this shotgun, which we need for the Archon. Yeah, it's a pretty cool shotgun, and I don't think it's very good in my opinion, but it's a very good gun to use if you're really trying to use a variety of weapons. So, make your way into the Widow's Court, and you're going to make your way downstairs past the waterfall and once you get into this room where the chest is you can be able to walk right through this wall it's insane and you're gonna pick up this lock 
box. Whatever you do with the slot box, mm -hmm. do not give it to the queen or whatsoever. It's going to ruin this quest. So for this next step, I'm going to show you guys how to get the Dreamcatcher and the Invader. Go to Adventure Mode. Go to Lozman. Select your difficulty. Then make sure you get Marrow's Parish. If you don't get that, re-roll it until you get it. Play until the get play until you get to the point where you're at Marrow's Sanatorium, which is a big house. Kill some enemies, working our way through these rooms. You need to go to downstairs, so we need to head straight and go to the right through this doorway where this first doll will be located. Once you grab this doll, we're going to head back through the hallway here, through that doorway downstairs, once again into the basement, and I'm just going to be a little enemies there, so discard that. Keep going straight until you find stairs, go outside, get this piece of wood off this door, because we're going to use this door as a little shortcut here. We're going to head straight. Next to this fence, head to the little right here, and there's going to be another doll right here once again. And there's going to be a little mini boss in this little mini garage area. So I'll make sure to take this guy out. He could be really pain in the ass, so make sure you take him out. And um, after you take him out, um, we're going to go into that same room that he came out of. We're going to pick up those keys, and we're going to go through that door that we just opened like a little bit ago. We're going to go back up the stairs through this doorway and pass our first door to the second door to go upstairs. And we're going to use those keys to open that door. And there is another doll in these rooms. And once you come out of these rooms, there's going to be another window on the side here that's going to lead into a little balcony here. You need to pick up those prison cell keys because we're going to use those against this door. And um, the, dolls, the dolls we found, we need to put those to the door. And we use a key to open up the, the cell, receive another doll. After you pick up this doll, this is probably going to be a little confusing here. So you're going to find the X makes a mark and you're going to go to that objective and you're going to go to this little giant girl with the galaxy in the background and um, you're going to go to the third option here which says I'm ready. I'm um, sorry my face cam is blocking it and uh, basically you're going to go through this like a main story. You're just going to keep pushing through until you find the objective which is the X make mark and um, you're going to find a boss which is the red prince. If you the boss you're going to get a soul key tribute which is a heart which you're going to use a heart against to open the web. Once you enter the heart into the web you're going interact, to interact it with it again and it's going to take you into this transition of this black and white color like in the game which is pretty it's like a white and color grayish color and I'm gonna go to this cell right here interact with it and you're gonna give it the doll and you're gonna receive the doom catcher melee weapon so go to root earth and go to corrupted harbor and start at that location then move up to your second location until you get to the crystal so work your way through past the crystal past the pipes kill all the enemies through down the stairs through the door and we're gonna use our melee weapon against this and you're going to receive the walker's dream which you need to use that which it's going to throw it down it's going to teleport you so make sure you use it and i'm just going to go to the loading screen here and then it's going to go into another boss fight here and i actually did defeat him but it was a bug so i didn't know i had the item in my inventory already and um so here it is in my inventory we have the wooden chip take this item to wallace and he will give you the invader archetype and you also get an achievement so after you beat the game, actually, um, Wallace will have the option for you to buy the Explorer box. Um, it's not here for me because I've already bought it from him. But trust me, after you beat the game, he, it will be there. And it'll be a little compass. I would show it in the gameplay, but I don't have it. So um, it's hard to record everything when you're trying to make these kind of videos. So um, yeah. So that is the final part that we need. So now it's time to get this class. All right, guys, make your way into the labyrinth world and go next to the portal. What you need to do is you need to wait for that jump onto this moving platform. This is the area we need to be. Make sure to clear all the enemies out through this portal and we're going to be sent to the back rooms. We need to find this piece that we need for this class and uh, make sure you look for it because we only got a certain amount of time and there we go we got it so after we get this piece up from the back rooms we're going to go back to wallace and we're going to buy the archon so here it is right here and um i was like staying pause there for a minute so i was like su sucking in the moment there and um yeah there we go we, we we got the class now so you you can equip it and you can farm play it unlock everything and um, yeah, this class is going to be insane. So if you guys want to see builds for this class, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification to never miss a video.
and um, hope you guys really enjoy this video. This took hours to make. I put a lot of time into this video, so please subscribe to the channel and like the video. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.